I got an, an email uh, telling me that they're looking for a shipping agent and uh, to work from home. Ivan had posted his resume on an online job site, so he assumed that was how this company got his name. All I had to do was receive the package from my address uh, and reship it to wherever they told me. He would be paid $2,500 a month, but before he accepted the job, he decided to check out the company online. They have a website and everything, address, and uh, they have, you know, like a list of customers, and, and everything is really well organized. Ivan took the job. They would send me an email telling me that the package is coming uh, and that I needed to ship it out as fast as I can. That's all I noticed, that they, they wanted to fast, you know. Oh, it's got to go out like today. After a month, Ivan was expecting his first paycheck. When he called, he was given an excuse about technical problems. The second time he called, no one answered the phone. You're looking for a job and, you know, you don't have that much money and what little money you have, it gets taken away. Then I'll be mad. He knew it was all a scam. The merchandise, a lot of times we find it was purchased through stolen credit cards or compromised accounts. Con men send these fraudulent goods to reshippers to create an added layer between them and the goods. The problem is, is the reshippers unwitting, doesn't know anything about the scheme. All they know is they're getting the merchandise sent to their house. Ivan says he learned his lesson and knows how to use technology to help research any potential new employers. You can check on your uh, GPS on the internet, the maps, then you'll know if it's a legitimate business or not. There has to be some action there. If it's, if it's not, maybe, you know, it's a Chinese restaurant or maybe it's a laundromat. 